Welcome back to Celebrity Radio. It's Alex Belfield talking to an old friend and one of my favourite people. Robin Campbell is back on tour with UB40 this Christmas. The Christmas Hometown Show happens on the 21st of December at Birmingham Arena. And it's a delight to talk to you again. How are you doing? I'm good, Alex. How are you? Yeah, it's good to talk to you, mate. And UB40 still at it. I mean, where are you currently? Australia, America, Japan, Netherlands? Where is it? <laughs> no, we're in, uh, we're in Holland today. Uh, we've just played a show last night in Amsterdam. Is travelling the snag, is that the problem? Heineken Hall, sorry? Is travelling the snag, is that the problem with being a megastar? Uh, uh, yeah, travelling is always the problem. It's uh, it's sort of necessary evil, you know. If, if you want to be playing gigs non-stop, then you've got to travel around to do them. You couldn't just sit in one place and play a million shows. So, mm. yeah, you have to travel, and it's... That's a bit of a pain, but uh, the reward is the show that you get to play at the end of it. What is the baggage like when UB40 go on tour? How many trucks are there? How many bags do you have to take? It can't be just to sort of pop over on EasyJet, turn up, sort of use a microphone. I mean, it's a big operation, isn't it, getting the show into town? Yeah, I have actually no idea what we <laughs> take with us anymore. Um, it used to, you know, we used to have figures where we went on a big tour, and I mean, you know, we we have toured on our own plane, you know, in the past, but uh, I really have no idea. Um, I know that, you know, we have one tour bus for the band and one tour bus for the crew, and I know that there are a few trucks, but I really couldn't tell you what the amounts are nowadays. I know that we're a lot more streamlined because it's easy to do it that way. You don't have to take the amount of uh, equipment that you used to in the old days. Mm. Um, with, you know, digital, digital stuff, it's, uh, it's much less and much lighter, so it's, it's not the, uh, the operation that it used to be. I know this is a bit of a geeky question, but I'm always big on sound, especially in these arenas. I'm amazed how crap some of these shows are. You, you really go to great lengths to make sure every note can be heard, every word can be heard. Could your fans expect it, don't they? There is an expectation. I, th- I think um, if you're a touring band, then of course there should be an expectation that you're going to deliver a, you know, a certain standard. Um, and yeah, we go to great lengths. We... Uh, we use top people and we use top equipment and uh, you know we've, uh, we're, we're kind of old hands at it now I mm. think uh, I think the, the people who don't necessarily deliver uh, a quality product you know at the, at the end result uh, are people that don't necessarily go on the road that often um, or maybe are not necessarily very good anyway it makes you sound better. I mean, the better the sound system, the better the lighting rig, the better everything, you're going to come off better. I mean, you win at the end of the day, the better the show is. Yeah, absolutely. People come back, you know. If, mm. it's, if it's not a great show, uh, yeah, I'm sure, you know, a percentage of the audience will forgive you. But, uh, yeah, it's got to be an ever-diminishing return, you know, if you're not if you're not delivering. How many years have you done this show now? Can you remember? The only performing I've ever done... Um, and I've been doing it for 40 years. We're celebrating our 40th year. Yeah, it's incredible. And we're in year 41 now. That's right. We spoke last year for the 40th, and what an incredible life it's been. And you've never known a life of not being famous, not being a musician, and not being successful, really, because it was more or less a hit from the beginning, wasn't it? It certainly was. We, we, were, uh, we were only playing gigs, I think, in our first year of existence. Uh, as a performing band we did 30 shows um, and then we met Chrissy Hind and we did 30 something shows in the next six weeks Hmm. so uh, yeah that was the dramatic change for us and by the time we finished that tour we had a top 10 record so uh, it's never never looked back from that point Um, so yeah we we were very lucky we've We've, uh, we didn't have to flog around for 10 years like many other bands do, you know, mm. before they get discovered or get lucky or, you know, we just, we got discovered and got lucky all at the same time in a very short period. And there's something about your music that's so feel good. And I think that's one of the reasons your audiences love coming back time and time again. It's a very optimistic show, isn't it? And the music has always been positive just because of that reggae beat. Yeah, it's dance music, you know, and we've always, always been a dance band. Uh, gigs are dance oriented they're having fun about having a party it, I mean politics
politics might be, uh, you know, we might be moaning about certain things and trying to, you know, raise awareness of certain things. But when it comes to a show, then the lyrics are kind of secondary, you know, what mm. makes, uh, what's really important is the music and, and having a good time. Yeah, and you do on stage. You still look like you all enjoy it. I mean, you spend more time together than you do with your own wives and people. I mean, it is a family on stage and you can feel that. Yeah, um, I think, yeah, it's obviously it, it becomes family. I mean, we were hanging out before we were ever a band. Don't forget, we were we were a gang of mates, you know, from our teens and even younger for some of us. Um, I've known Norman Hassan, our percussionist, since he was about six or seven years old. Mm. So, uh, you know, we've we've been hanging out a long time. So we were kind of family when we went on the road, you know, and I think that's why we got on so well for so long mm. um, and why there's still uh, five of the original band touring, you know. We have new guys, but the new guys are, you know, our horn players have been with us for over 20 years, nearly 30 years, I think. Mm. Um, and, you know, Duncan, our new boy, is now in his... Yeah, so, <laughs> you know, if we, uh, if, if we didn't learn to live with each other, we'd be in trouble. The last time we spoke, just to cover that, and I don't want to go into great detail about it, but the, the litigation stuff about owning the name and Ali and all of that, has there been any development with that or is that still ongoing? It's still dragging on, I'm afraid. Mm, what a shame. No hope with the family sort of reuniting privately, if not publicly. No, he doesn't talk to us at all. What a shame. He doesn't talk to us or his family, really. So, mm. you know, what can you do? Yeah, it's a shame. But you will be back home. Is Birmingham still home? You're coming back for this homecoming show on the 21st of December. Will Birmingham always be home to you? Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I don't live in the city of Birmingham anymore. I live uh, I live in the outskirts, you know, out by the airport. But um, mm. I'm, I'm now a country bumpkin. But uh, I'm still a brummer. I always will be. Mm. Um, and it will always be home. It's where all my friends and family are. Funnily enough, I'm there tonight seeing Beverly Knight. It's amazing how many stars it's created. And again, it's not surprising, I suppose, when you consider it's the second city, the the second biggest population in the UK. And a total musical melting pot, you know, mm. which is why there are so many artists that have come out of Birmingham of, and in so many different styles and genres of music, you know. Mm. This Christmas show, I mean, what are we going to get? Jingle Bells and Rudolph the Red-Nosed oh, yeah. Reindeer? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it'll be like um, pretty much every other show we do, except yeah. that it'll be a celebration of the fact that we've uh, finished another year on the road um, and we, we like to celebrate that with, uh, with home, you know, and mm. friends and family and as many people all come to the show as possible, so... It's just a celebration of, uh, you know, uh, us finishing another year on the road and, uh, well, surviving another year on the road and um, also finishing the, the celebration of our 40 years. And I don't want to be a buzzkill, but, I mean, we do have to be grateful for every year you are on the road because, let's face it, we lose so many, and especially your, yours is a group full of men. Men of a certain age don't seem to fare that well, do they? So it is remarkable, and it is wonderful that you're still together doing it and at it at this stage. It's beautiful. Yeah, and we intend to keep doing it until we drop. Yeah. Is <laughs> we, we, we're having more fun than we had uh, in a long time, really, you know, with, since Duncan came on board, it's totally, as I've told you before, you know, it, it reinvigorated the band, and mm. uh, we're we're just having a ball again. It's it, it is wonderful, but um, you know, I, I imagine that um, I'd have been hanging up my boots a long time ago, but uh, to be still travelling the world and playing to audiences all over the world, and uh, you know, just the the buzz and the love that you get from audiences, you know, just can't be replaced. So I'll be doing it for as long as I possibly can. The atmosphere at your concerts is nothing short of euphoric. The feeling you get from that audience, the second you start to the second you end, is just incredible. I don't think there's another band I've seen live that within one second people are completely into it and on the same page. And that is down to four decades of knowing you and loving you, really, isn't it? You can't buy that. Think, yeah. I think they, they know what they're getting when mm. they come and they intend to party, you know. And I think, as you say, from from the opening bar to the closing bar, they're, uh, they're there to have 
fun and they know what the show is all about and that's what they come for they come to just it's a it's a couple of hours of, of escapism like any other party you know robin we love you very much thank you so much for talking to us again today ub40 the christmas hometown show will be appearing at the birmingham arena the big one on saturday the 21st of december it's the big christmas show you can see the final show of 2019 for ub40 back on the road in 2020 and just put in ub40 global into the internet and it will come up with all the tour dates including this one 21st of December Birmingham Arena the Christmas hometown show Robin thank you so much for your time